Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Shanika Owens TV. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys my Walgreens haul for the week of 10 11 to 10 17. Now, this week, Walgreens did give us some rewards back that we can get on certain items. And I will say thank you to Don Deals for letting me know that the All May clearance is giving back the rest reward as well. So, I did get a huge money maker on my transaction. Yes, guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed to my channel, make sure your notification bells are on so you guys will be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And please like and share the video and give the video a big thumbs up. If you guys want to see how big of a money maker I got at Walgreens for this week, then definitely keep watching the video. Okay guys, this is my Walgreens haul and these are the deals for the week of 10, 11, and 10, 17. Now you guys know Walgreens have not been having some really great deals giving back either rewards or either points, but I'll say this week is okay. It's not a lot giving back any rewards, but I will say the Thai deal is really good and the All May, I mean, is a money maker. And before I start this video, I want to give a special thank you to Don's deals because I watch her Walgreens videos all the time and she lets you guys know what is not working and what is working. And in my breakdown, I had All May, but I forgot that All May was on clearance. So thanks to her for letting us know that the All May clearance is triggering the rest reward. So thank you, Don, for that because using those clearance All Mays and those coupons because they expired this week made All May like a money maker getting those rest rewards back. So thank you to Don for that. So I did a total of three transactions. I know you see the aluminum foil here and you see All May because I was taking advantage of those clearance All May items, using those coupons, rolling points, and getting back rest rewards. So I did do that three times and I need aluminum foil because of course you guys will see this video on Monday, but I'm cooking a Sunday dinner and I need aluminum foil and it was 99 cents at Walgreens, so why not? So first thing I did, and I took advantage of the spend 20, get 5,000 points back, and I did use points in a spend deal, and I got points right back in a spend deal. So I picked up everything, like I said, uh, I did three transactions. So one big one and then two small ones for the All May. So in the one transaction, I picked up the All May, well, two skin cement razors. Those are uh, $5.99, and buy two, get 2,000 points. I also picked up the All May eyeshadow for $3.59 on clearance, and I picked up an All May foundation for $3.49 on clearance. And All May and Revlon is buy two, get five. I also did the tie deal. Those are buy four, get a $6 rest reward, and they are $4.99 this week. I also grabbed two of the Skin to Men Shave Gels. Those are $2.99, and when you buy two, you get 2,000 points. So, with all of those items, my subtotal was $45 even. And as you guys know, I used to spend 25, spend 20, get 5,000 points perk booster. And I used the following coupons. I used a $3 off for the All May Face product from the 10 for Smart Source. I used a $3 off for the All May Eye from the 10 for Smart Source. I used a $2 off Tide Pod digital coupon. And I also used one from the October PNG. I used two of the Tide liquid coupons, one from the October PNG, and one printable from PNGGoodEveryday.com. I also used two of the Skitsament razor coupons from four dollars from today's 1011 Smart Source. And I also used two uh Skitsament Shave Gel coupons, dollar off coupons from today's 1011 Smart Source. Now this is how the spin deal works. Your your spend amount have to be at least twenty dollars because Walgreens treat 
coupons as money. So my subtotal was $45. My coupons total was $24. So I have reached that threshold to get my points back for the spend deal. So now I'm able to roll points back, roll points and get my points back if that makes sense. I'll say it again. My subtotal was, because I know a lot of people get confused on the spend, uh, spending points and getting points back. And I myself, this is my second time doing it and I did it again without any issues. So my subtotal was $45. In order for you to reach the spend amount of the $20, your coupons have to meet that threshold because Walgreens treat those coupons as money. So as long as you're reaching a $20 threshold, you can roll points and get your points back. So my subtotal was $45. I had my coupons equal up to $24, so I reached that amount already. So using all those coupons, my subtotal dropped down to $21. Now I can roll points. So I rolled 20,000 points, and I paid a dollar plus the taxes, but I got back a $6 rest reward for the Tide deal. I got back a $5 rest reward for the um, All May deal. I also got back 4,000 points for the Skizzamint Razor deal and the Skizzamint Shave Gel deal. And I also got back my 5,000 points for spending 20 and getting 5,000 points back. So let me show you guys, but before I show you guys my receipt, I'll go over the second and third transaction and then I'll show you guys all of my receipts together. So um, with this little transaction here, so paying all that money, rolling points and getting all those rewards back, it makes that little transaction free and a $19 money maker, yes. With those all made coupons and getting those clearance items and using those coupons and getting rest rewards back, it made these items like a really, really decent money maker, guys. So yes, my little haul was free and a nineteen dollar money maker. So let me go over the second transaction. So the second thing I did was I grabbed one of the all made anti aging um, foundations. Those were three sixty nine, the white bottle right there. And then I grabbed one of the all made uh, eyeshadow quads again. Those are three fifty nine. And I grabbed the aluminum foil. Those are $1.99, but you also have a digital coupon making it $0.99. Cents. So my subtotal was uh, $2.27 because I used those two coupons. And I, after the taxes, my subtotal was $3.12. I rolled 3,000 3, points and just paid $0.12 cents plus the tax. But I got back another $5 rest reward. And the third and final one was just the two All May products. Uh, one, two of the uh foundations were both three forty nine, and then I had two three dollar off coupons. So my subtotal was ninety eight cents plus the taxes. So I rolled a thousand points and paid seventy cents out of pocket, and got back another five dollar rest reward. So I do plan to go to the store by my job because I know since those all made coupons been out, people have been getting really good clearance items. But it's better to get the clearance items now if your store have them. To use those coupons and then get those rest rewards back because we haven't been getting really any really good deals with getting rewards back at Walgreens. So let me show you guys my receipt and all of my rest rewards, and that will complete my Walgreens haul for this week. Like I said, I will go back and get some more clearance items if my store have them, and burn the rest of my all my coupons and get rest rewards. So here is my first receipt, and as you can see, there the skin to me razors, the all my clearance item. The Tide liquid and the Tide pods, and then the other all made, and then the skin cement shave gel. And you can see I didn't have any rest rewards to roll because we haven't been getting any rewards at Walgreens lately. So uh, there's my $3 all made coupons, my $4 for the Chic, and a dollar for the gel, and then my $2 all Tide pod coupons, and then my Tide liquid coupon. They had to enter it in because it says the um. The item was not found or something with the coupon, so they did have to key in the $2 for the Tide Liquid. And then my subtotal was $21, like I stated, with the tax, of course. And then I rolled 20,000 points, and I just paid the dollar plus the taxes. And I did get back, let me show you guys, my $5 rest reward for the Almay deal, and then my 6 for the um, Tide deal. So let me move this, and then this is my... Second transaction, as you can see, the all made in aluminum foil. My subtotal was two twenty seven, and I rolled uh two twenty seven plus tax. I rolled three thousand points and just paid uh twelve cents. And then here is my five dollar rest reward for this transaction. 
last transaction is this one, the Alme, two Alme foundation. And you see the uh, coupons for $3 came off. And I, subtotal was 98 cents plus tax. I rolled a thousand points and paid 70 cents plus, 70 cents out of pocket. Then I got back another $5 rest reward. So guys, yes, go out and find, if you can find some of those clearance items for all made and roll points and turn them into rest rewards, that would be a pretty, pretty penny of a money maker, guys. So yes, go out and find some all made and use your coupons because they do expire this week. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Just to point out a few great deals at Walgreens. Like I said, I hope you guys find some money maker all made and clearance all made and use your coupons because they do expire this week. I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. And thank you to all my old subscribers as well. Coming back each and every week, watching my videos, sharing my videos, liking my videos, and doing all of that good jazz. You guys know it is greatly appreciated. And I can't thank you guys enough. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video.